And this is why, in my opinion, Black Panther, the first one, was mm-hmm. so huge. Yeah. Because it's we we are so I think I think we're looking for someone to shine for us so good, so well, yeah. that we didn't find it in reality. The closest we had was Obama in reality, right? Mm-hmm. But then the, the only person that could beat that was a fictional comic book character. We finally had a king. This is why the whole passing of Chadwick uh, Boseman, uh, Boseman oh, yeah. was harsh on us as yeah. a community because yeah. we couldn't find a king in real life, so to speak. Mm-hmm. We found a king on screen, and this is why that movie yeah. spoke. I mean, it was well written, it was well for- directed, the story was great. Yeah, all the elements were there, they've been there for years until they yeah. finally put it live. And it was, you know, you had teachers taking their classes to go and see Black Panther because yeah. it was literally, as they say, Black Excellence, right? Yeah, yeah. So when yeah. he went, was boy, the nation mourned. Like we, we took him on as a real king, not as a fictional king. Hundred percent, hundred percent. He 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 gave realism to the theory or yes. the fictional theory that you can actually have someone of that class that is well rounded and everybody accepted and like. There's there's no way you can. That's that's the scenario we understand as reading characters. We understand the power and the greatness of uh, Chitala. We'll just go with that. We're not gonna say Chadwick as the Chala. We yes. understand the power of Black Panther. We were like, yeah. So to hit, make him three dimensional, to give him life, and see him, I'm like, oh, this is Black excellence in that sense that you you wouldn't expect that. No one else is expecting that. We understood not only right. as a culture ourselves, as you know, people who who love comics and you know the IP in that regard and everything like that. But we understood that when he came to life on screen. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Women that wanted, makes sense. That makes sense. Like women wanted to be with him and <laughs> wanted to be him. Wait. And, 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 and wasn't that T'Challa? So, I mean, that's the T'Challa himself. So Chadwick just kind of like slipped into that position and be like, we already, we knew from the first time he came on, we were like, yeah, Chadwick was AKA Robert um, Downey Jr. He was basically saying what Robert was yep. for Tony Stark. Like, like yep. that's it. Like it's going to be very hard for whoever has to replace Robert when they either try to continue with it because they say he's coming back. They say he's coming back. Or they it. say he's not. Who knows? We'll see what it comes up. You know, they were right, exactly. For, for, they're for he's, coming back, yeah. he's not coming back. We'll see how that's how that pans yeah, out. Uh-huh. But the time, the day that Marvel, and this is going to be in maybe another maybe another 10, 10 years from now. When they decide to reboot or readjust and go with a younger Tony, whoever's going to be Robert, I mean, whoever's going to be Tony Stark in the future, unfortunately, that person knows. Those are big shoes. To me, here's the here's equivalent. It's the same like, who took over? Who was the next big one after uh, Christopher Reeve? Going, Christopher Reeve was Superman. For anybody oh, to take was, that uh, position. Roth. Uh, not, uh, not, was uh, it Brandon? Not Roth. No, it wasn't Brandon. Brandon, Brandon Roth? In. Yeah, no. Was Brandon was, Roth who came in? Yes, yes, because it was Christopher Reeve. And then it was nothing for a while, and then Brandon Roth came back, uh, did uh, that one movie, Superman Returns, which is supposed to kind of be in that timeline. And then that didn't do as well as they thought it would be at the box office. And then they came in with Henry Cavill. Right, right, okay. On the big so screen, even, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm just oh, no, no, talking. Hundred percent, and that's the part I'm going to get to. On the big screen, that's it. So the scenario is that even. Okay, Brandon came in first. Henry came in second in that regard. But any of them, they know the benchmark. Can you be like Christopher Reeve? That's what it is. You're going to bring your own take on it. But everybody mm-hmm. knows the benchmark is Christopher Reeve. So the same way I feel for whoever is going to be taking over for uh, Robert Downey Jr. Jr. for Tony Stark, the benchmark is it's RDJ. Yeah. Um, can you hold that? So the same thing to me now is when, because it's way too early, but whenever they decide to make the replacement for Chadwick, you got to be Chadwick in your own way. But Chadwick is the baseline. Yeah, yeah he's, that's, he's, that's, that's yeah. the ultimate. He, he set the benchmark. He set hard. the benchmark hard. hard. It, it's gonna be a hard, hard. one. And then of course you got to make sure that people are gonna be behind it, right? I mean, like that that movie. Uh, this 
It's not movie it. spoke with. There's so much culture. I don't care if you Bayesian, Jamaican, Guyanese, <laughs> Trinidadian, Haitian, African. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know which ones I'm missing there, right? Yes. Any Listen. anyone dark skin of color, wherever I don't care yeah. where you at. Even if you're not born color. there. Any person, person if color. you're not even born there, I don't care where you at. Everyone looked and went, he's our king. It wasn't even like, oh, we're watching a movie about a comic book superhero. It was, there's our king. We've had our president. There's our king. Like, we're good. We're, we're good. Listen, I, I don't know if I ever told you the joke for me when it came out. I I had a I had an outfit mm. and I basically went and basically downloaded put um coming to america the the uh car uh, the motor the motor car the motor car uh a tune yeah yeah had it on loop i don't have my speaker here but basically i, I was going into the theater daughters all the girls were like like dad no no no, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. I would have been with you, man. Else, it was hilarious. I was all I was in, in African gear. I was I was Nigerian gear. I was set. I saw another person. I actually knew it was like. Gun, 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 gun. And I'm sure you still got to the counter and they had to say, "Sir, so what movie you want to see?" Are you serious? <sighs> My brother, hey, hey, hey. hey you gonna ask me that? Hey. Hey. You don't do it me was, like that, huh? You don't do oh, what are those? It was hilarious. <laughs> it was it was it was wonderful. So that's what I mean. So yeah. with it with Black Panther, movement. it was a movement. It was a movement. It was a movement. It, that's one thing. It, you know, the Beatles were the Beatles, right? It was a mm -hmm. movement. When they hit, they hit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Black Panther. When it hit, it hit. When his he had his when Chadwick had his standalone movie, not showing up in Civil War and all that stuff. We were excited yeah. to see him in Civil War and everything, but when it hit, it hit. You, 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 you walked out of that theater with your head hell high, your chest puff up. I don't care. It, it, I'm talking anybody, no matter what walk of life, from, from your most educated, well-respected person to anyone that was even running in the streets. You understand that? They all got 100%. together in this theater, sat down 100%. and said, what's up? What are you doing, sir? So, Watch this right? movie and went, that's our king. It it, it brought people together. That movie brought Hardcore. people together. I knew people were like saying, "Listen, I'm I'm buying copies to show my kids. It's fictional, but there's a realism in here. You can learn a lot by watching." I know a couple of people who did that, myself included. Myself Savior. included. I, listen, when people are going to see the movie multiple times, when when people are paying their money multiple times, not on a cheapy night to go and see this movie, when when okay, class, we're going to see a movie today. Oh. What's the movie we're going to see? Black Panther. I'm telling you, all them kids in that class were well behaved, well behaved, 100%. because 100%. we never had something like that to my memory where it stood out that hard. I mean, okay, when Star Wars came out in 1977, that mm -hmm. was a moment. That was a movement. Yeah. You understand that? 100%. People went. There was no. There's no VCR. It, it paid up. You, you had to be rich to have one of those. You had one of those projector ones, and you know. So you Max. had to go and see the movie three, four times, right? Yeah. With your friends. Hey, what are you doing? Let's go and see Star Wars again. And then everyone's walking around. These are not, these are the droids you're not looking for. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Panther merch. Everyone, I still want one now. I still want the T'Challa Black Panther spike necklace. You understand? Like, okay. Okay. Give me silver. Let me walk around the turn them like and wear that. Like, okay, I'm good. Who are you? 100%. Who do you think I'm supposed to be? That's this is why I love this man because mm -hmm. times and how long did that IP exist? I mean, Black, first of all, all right, we talked about this for half a second. We go talk about this. No, 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 no. Right? no. We're still talking. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Black Panther turned around when he first got created. He was created by Stan Lee and Jack the King Kirby. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jack. They wanted to bring in diversity even back then. I believe it's in the 60s. Don't ask me exactly what date it was to bring this IP to life. Then they turn around, at, you know, because they were the first ones out of the two big comic companies, put mm -hmm. some, you know, put some brothers in there on their own titles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his whole thing is he wasn't Black Panther. His whole first thing was he had like a yellow shirt and everything. He was known as the uh, uh, Coral Tiger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
it's like charcoal, like full, full tiger. That's that's what it was. And they went, no, 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 we got to change them up. And then they changed the name to Black Panther because of the Black Panther movement and what they represented. You know, I mean, like, um, yeah. you know, safety, uh, education, uh, you know, a unity and all that. So, you know, I know people mm. get it twisted and think it's a different thing, but that's really what they came out for to be there for us. And they said, hey, we like that Black Panther movie. Okay, Black uh, Movement, we can do it. Black Panther. And they were worried about maybe having some legal troubles because of the name. Yeah. And the Black Panthers turned around and went, no, no. Even from back then, they were like, yep. one of us. They, they were going like, oh, you took our name. We can't believe that. No, no, no. They represented it because it didn't show us, let's be real, Black people yep. in a negative light. The yep. guy is a king of one of the strongest nations in Africa, never been defeated. His bloodline, his, his father, his father's father, his father's father's father, they are warrior kings, but smart. They took their resources, sent them over here. He went to schools and all that stuff, and then went back there with his knowledge. And his first appearance was in Fantastic Four when they first came to kind of stumble across Wakanda. And mm-hmm. the Black Panther took on the Fantastic Four. Let me say this the Black Panther took on the Fantastic Four. And one, and 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 okay, that's Reed Richards. That's the thing. That's the Human Torch. Mm-hmm. That's the Invisible Girl at the time she was known yep. at. Now it's Invisible yep. Woman. And yep. even then, he still showed intelligence, grace, you know, and poise. He was always a class act. Like, not right. Uh-huh. And then all these years later, it's like, okay, we're gonna give him a movie. All right, we'll give him a movie. All right, we're gonna put him in here and see how that works. Oh, this is positive. All right, we're gonna do a Black Panther movie. What? And then yep. you know. They selected a cast and they got some powerful actors. I mean, okay, Forrest yep. Whitaker. Okay, enough said. Angela Bassett. Okay, enough said. You're, you're bringing us the heavy hitters. And the heavy right. hitters are in a smaller role. Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Chadwick. Okay. And and then you got the cast goes on. There was every hmm. black actor was in that Angela, movie. Angela Bassett? Come on now. Listen. Listen. Because you know... And, and the great thing about it, I know people, I know, I'm sure that those actors at the time when casting Black Panther, what about? Agent, um, you better do what you got to do to get me in there. Yeah. I'm dead sure people are breaking down doors to get on that. And especially really how, how that. great it was off the first one. You better get me on the second one. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, I've all some lonely actor kind of thing it's like okay who's in this movie man i know the comic book who's in this movie well we got angela bassett oh geez okay angela bassett that's that's a powerhouse what's she doing oh she's just playing the role, role of his mom you got someone okay a scale of one to ten as an actor actress and their craft angela bassett's a 15 and you right. got her just playing the mom that means whoever is playing the title character has got to hold his own because she is no lightweight she is no lightweight. And that's that's the that only thing I would have hoped for is if mm. they would have brought in uh Storm, even in Easter eggs, even some kind of mention of Aurora. Listen, I have to see her. I just needed a mention of her. You know, because I thought that too. I won't even lie. I thought that too, but I realized uh-huh. you know what? It would have been too early. It would have been too early because we gotta focus, we're gonna focus on it on on, on uh Shichala first. I, I got the you. story on there. So I would, I would honestly, I would expect it in two. I would expect yes. it in two. But they made you want to do it, right? But you see how they made base. They made because they made they made him have at least show that he had a love interest from before. So it's still peppered there in that. So bringing in Storm would have been a little. Hmm. I thought he was dealing with her. You know, he's interested in her. How come Storm comes in? So. That's where I was right. like, if anything, maybe bring her name in. But again, by that time, we still didn't have, you know, no X Men was was right, added exactly. To, and all I had to say the only was, thing. yeah. Well, you see, and there's my thing. I wouldn't have brought her in as a full fledged woman. No, I would. I would do like a flashback scene or, or even just a call out saying, hey, you know what, you know, uh, what they, his love interest that was in this movie. I just would have said is like, hopefully she doesn't hurt your heart like the first one. He's like, what do you mean the first right. one? Well, you know, Aurora, and now you have her. I would need to hear. Okay, you know I would have been like that Asian guy there. I would have grabbed my slipper. Emotional damage. damage. I would have lost it. That's all. I don't need to hear. I don't need to see her. I don't need to see a picture. That's what of her. you're saying. I, I just need to saying. hear is like, well, hopefully, brother, that you know she does not break your heart like the first one. Who's the first one? What do you mean, Aurora? You remember her? Oh yeah, the one yeah, that got yeah, away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bam. That's it. Done. Two lines. 
Next emotional scene. damage. Done. Next scene. People dead. People dead. Are, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. That would have been. That would have been done. I, I, that I, we wouldn't even had to do the rest of the movie. I'm like, I would have been curled up and 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 just someone hold me. This is. I would have been holding okay. some stranger going. Did you hear what they just said? Did you hear what you just said? You know, I'm like, sir, can you let go of my arm? No. Did you just hear what they just said? Are you a true fan? <laughs> do you understand the implications of what just happened? That, that's You're not it. ready. That's it. I, I don't I get. Don't, hey, anyone watch? Don't get me wrong. I, I, this movie's ten out of ten for me. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. You know, it, it, it would have blown that, my synapses if that, I would. That would have been. That would have been an, a, a deep cut, reverse across the back. Like, did you just understand what he said? Yeah. So the unknown mind, the unknown ears wouldn't catch it on, but it would have been. Oh snap. Oh, okay. I can't. Re- I, I'm sorry. I can't remember where it was, but there was there was another Marvel movie where someone said a deep cut, and everybody knew. Now I can't. I can't. I can't. Right. Right. I can't. There's bring so it to many. Life. There were so many, but there was one I remember. Maybe it wasn't. Cap- I think it might have been in either in Cap- Captain America. I didn't mean maybe it wasn't Cap. Maybe the first Avenger. But there was a deep cut that someone said in there, and everybody's like, "Oh, that's it. That's it." Did you see what he just said? I love the Easter eggs, man. It would have been that would have been the the. The best, one of the best, the top five, right. top ten in in that movie. If they did a deep cut like that, I will say that. Yeah, would that, that would have been it. It would have been like mic drop, that walk was. away, roll the credits. We're good, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I mean, I've seen some good deep cuts in other movies. You mm-hmm. know, like Marvels. Marvels had a good deep cut for me, right? Not not yeah, Marvel. Yeah. Sorry, uh, not Marvels. I haven't watched uh, Marvels oh. yet. I mean, uh, for Captain Marvel, the first one, Captain. Oh, Marvel. the Captain Marvel. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Amen. Deep you guys, Marvels. you know okay, when they're doing yeah. the whole thing, and um, she comes back to Earth. You're walking by the plane, is it her? What is it that scene, or is it WandaVision? I'm getting confused. My old oh my, but I know she's walking by a plane, mm-hmm. and um, I think it's I think it's WandaVision. Okay, Anyways, go, do, the scene, do the scene, do the scene, do the scene, right. do the scene. So, all it is is the character is walking by, sees a plane with her with the tall sign, and the tall sign says photon. No, yeah, 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 you're right. It's 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 Marvel, like is that movie? Is that movie? Yeah, it's Captain Marvel, Marvel right? So, right. walks by, says Captain photon. Marvel. Great. Yeah. So what got me is okay, you got, you know, Carol Denvers, who's Captain Marvel, all right? Not at full. Um, you know, then if people don't understand that her best friend, co pilot, you know, yep. has a daughter who's Monica Rambo, who's young yep. in that movie before WandaVision. Yep. And if you know anything, WandaVision, so when that character gets older and you see her in WandaVision as a grown woman, when she gets her powers. He goes yeah. by Captain Marvel until Carol Danvers comes back to Earth, and then she changes her name because we can't have two. So she goes by the name Photon, which was her yep. mom's call sign call that was sign. on the plane. Emotional damage. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm just saying, like Black Panther, I, I wanted to walk out. Of, I wanted to kneel in that movie. I wanted to walk, not walk out in a bad way. I walked out in a good way. And I just wanted, you know, I think everyone just walked out in silence. We clap, we walked out, and everyone had that look of, "We are going to yeah. Africa, huh? huh? You, you book yeah. your plane ticket, book, book. Hey, book your plane ticket right now. Put your sandals. We are going to find Wakanda. If we can't find it, we will 100%. make it." 100%. Listen, for one, I walked out, put the music back on, put in my car, music blaring. Yeah, this is cold because yeah. realizing as as a note, by the time this comes out. It's going to be like within the next maybe three or four weeks is a release date. It was six years ago, around now, that it was released. Like February sixteenth, uh, uh, twenty eighteen. So we're we're close. When this, you know, when we drop this, you're gonna see that it's like it's within a couple of weeks. But yeah, people will start. To, the movie was so impact, so realistic to people. People who did not know the history of the comics actually thought there was a Wakanda. That was the most funniest thing about it. People actually thought so there, there's actually a Wakanda. So there, this is Wakanda. Where is Wakanda, Wakanda in Africa? Let's get the globe, honey. Let's get the globe and look. That's not, we can go and visit. That's not it. That's not it. And, and that's, that's not it. and that's the other deep cut because out of all the places, if you look at the DC universe, we've talked about this before, right? Gotham City, Marvel Universe, Where's Gotham City. Where's Metropolis? Oh, yeah, okay, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. Go on, go on, These go are on, all go fictional go cities, but yeah. Marvel uses real locations. I would say 97% of the time. They'll give you 100%. a real street. They'll give you a real location. We know Montreal. They New York is very famous. They mm-hmm. hit you with, you know, they, they go across Canada when they got you know, across the globe, yeah. across the world. They give you real locations. Now, the only fictional locations I would say is, of course, Wakanda. 
Okay. Right? Yeah. That's okay. The Savage Land. Even yeah. though the Savage Land is located in a real place. I think the Savage Land is out in Iceland or Greenland, you know. So it's yeah, in a yeah, real yeah, place, yeah, 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 but, yeah, it's, yeah. but the Savage Land is fake, yeah. but it's still located on a real That's continent, fine. right? And then it's yeah. Dr. Doom, uh, Laveria. Uh, Laveria, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, Kum Lao, uh, Kum Lao, Kum Lao. Is it Kum? Yeah. Right, so you see, I wouldn't count Kum Lao because it's a magical fictional city that comes from another dimension, stays here for a couple of days, and goes back for 10 years. Okay, retract my statement. Okay, valid. Right? You're valid. So that's, You're that's valid. the only reason I didn't count that, right? Because, okay. you know, I'm talking, you know, so then, you know, okay, you got uh, Genosha, okay? That's another thing, right? Like, those those to me, unless I'm wrong, like, Genosha with the X-Men doesn't exist. Right, right. Okay, but that, yeah, that's right. really, like, planted here on Earth 365 days a year. We should we should do that uh, as, a, as, a, as an episode. We should actually do that. And, I, and, and and I'm just saying this for everybody. When um, we've done so many heroes, very rarely do we do like villains. Um, when we do a villain, I was looking one time and I came across another villain, and I was like, "We don't do villains that much." And I want to do that particular person. So, but now even now, what places in the sense, like, why not? Like, no one talks about that kind of stuff. So that'd be great. You know what, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We're going to have this is just a snippet. This is just you know a, li a little yep. you know you know behind the scenes of yeah, exactly what I'm podcast. gonna put this up as behind the scenes, right? We're gonna put behind the scenes behind the scenes before we get to our real episodes. Yes, yeah. yes. But you're right. We're gonna do places. Oh, it's on the list. Got it. We have to. It, it's it's on the list, and and I know we got uh, one coming up. You know, so we're gonna have Larry on, and we're gonna do more places and locations with Larry. So he wants to kind of get into that when we bring him on uh, as a guest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, people, hold on. But yeah, that's all I can say is Wakanda, Wakanda forever. Chadwick, thank you. Mm. Marvel, yes. thank you. Got to go back to the greats though. Stanley, okay, good, good on you, Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack the King Kirby, yeah, visionary and no sarcasm in that at all. Okay, how did how is this guy from New York? Uh, you know, comes up with this whole concept of what we talk about forever yeah. all right cool yeah. all right so there we go that was behind the scenes that was us talking and breaking it down a little shot hot shot whatever we want to call it this or i don't know um table chat whatever uh yeah, black hot shots, just, right? hot shots. yeah hot shots. we just had to nail that moment there okay cool yeah. awesome uh, all right so you want to start this show now and then <laughs>